Question 8. There are only red counters, blue counters, white counters and black counters in a bag. The table shows the probability that a counter taken at random from the bag will be red or blue. The number of white counters in the bag is the same as the number of black counters in the bag. So white and black are the same. Tanya takes a random counter from the bag. Work out the probability that Tanya takes a white counter. Right. So remember, probability. Because there's the only thing that can happen is that you get red, blue, white or black. And because you're only taking one counter, they are... They must add up to one. All of them. So 0 0.2 plus 0.5 is 0 0.7. So what's left must add up to 1. So that's going to be 0 0.3. So because there's the same amount of white and black, you divide that by 2. 0 0.3 divided by 2 is 0 0.15. Question 9. And the reason they all add to 1 is because you can only either get red, blue, white or black, you can't get any overlapping or anything. They are mutually exclusive and when you've got mutually exclusive possibilities, they add up to 1. So, 0.15. There are 240 counters in the bag. Work out the number of red counters in the bag. So if the probability of getting red is 0.2, that is because the proportion of counters, of red counters in the bag, is 0 0.2. So 0 0.2, we need to find 0 0.2 of 240. Because that's what times is. Of is like times. So 0 0.2 of 240. If it helps you, you can think of 0 0.2 as being a fraction, which is 2 out of 10, which is 1 fifth of 240. Both will give you the same thing. So, working out like this, 2 times 240 is 480, take away, divided by 10 is 48. And obviously, 240 divided by 5 is 48. So that's how many there are, 48.